Nigga, your average nigga, a nigga who might come done you would be some nigga you wouldn't even think of do it to you, feel me? As far as when it comes to the woo shit, it's five different projects. I'm chewing niggas up walking through this bitch. New York niggas not that nigga. This shit is the trenches, nigga. The fuck is y'all talking about? What's your name, nigga? Z-Dot with it. Z-Dot Files, what up? Because it's just like being from over here, nigga, you gotta be a wolf. Well, you ain't gonna last, nigga. nigga it's, like, it's 18 different projects, nigga. Yeah, other than that, nigga, home with a wolf, feel me? Ain't no nigga, I don't give a fuck where you go, Bronx, Queens, Staten Island, nigga can't tell you, yo, yeah, shit worse than Brownsville, that's cap. Police, you go fuck to check the stats, you could do all that shit, go check him who you gotta check with, this shit is the worst, nigga. Yeah, I heard, so far I heard Brownsville and the Bronx. Really, I heard, I heard the Bronx is hot right now, too. Yeah, the Bronx is hot right now because they music. When it comes to this shit, point blank, Brownsville, like, nigga, this shit is always hot. There's never a time where it's not hot. Even when it ain't hot, like, show me, your shit still be hot. You still got a little shit going on that you want to know about because it's, feel me, like 18 different projects, my nigga. So you would never know, feel me? Yeah, he's projects, the building. I don't even fuck this building, but shit got the backside. Backside, you know what I mean? Um, nigga ain't supposed to be here, might fuck around, feel me? But this is the building that we really be in front of. Shit got the, the front is the back. So you ain't got to worry about none of that extra shit, nigga, slide through, doing a little weird shit and all that. But yeah, other than that, nigga, man, home with a wolf, feel me? Growing up out here, you could either be two types of niggas, feel me? You can mind your business, cause they do got shit like, as far as you see like the community center type shit, like for niggas to come through as kids, and feel me, you can do recreation, sports and shit like that. So, you could take that route. But, when you come out for sense, you got the niggas, feel me, right here in the piece. So, you got some niggas that, they come out, they stick to their bullshit, they go home. You got some niggas, they grass towards the shit afterwards. So say if like you got niggas coming out the center, these group of niggas going this way, these group of niggas might sit here and chill with the niggas that's out front for me, out front the shit. But other than that though, nigga, New York, that shit is different out here, bro. It's fun, feel me? Like as far as growing up, even though we got all this shit going on, but there's so much shit to do as far as when niggas is kids, parties. Do the gangs and shit bother the people? Like, you know, some motherfuckers get pushed towards the street streets. Like, it's enough shit to where motherfuckers can like avoid the shit easy. Like real, real gang gang shit. It was teams, you know what I mean? Teams is still the same thing as gang but, you know? Niggas want that pump in the gang now and this type of shit. As far as with the teams and shit, you had niggas that just basically want to come outside and you want to have the deepest group and y'all niggas go to the parties, feel me? But nigga, there's so many different hoods out here, so niggas will go to certain parties and when you go to the parties, you got niggas from um, Canarsie, niggas from Flatbush, niggas from East New York. So when you got different hoods type shit, all going, all going to the parties. So when you get in there, nigga, you want to be a part of the niggas that the niggas. So I would say that shit is what led niggas towards the gang shit. As far as when it came for us for the party, we was the niggas, we was the aggressors. We come to the party, we from Brownsville. We don't give a fuck, we don't give a fuck about none of that. Y'all niggas gotta let us in, what we stand here. That was the motto, feel me? So once you see other niggas, they come from with who they come with, you don't want to be the nigga on the line to get a stampede on. You want to be a part of the stampede. So that's what led niggas towards the gang shit. Niggas see, I right, bet. If you coming from this certain area and you one of them niggas, feel me that you got power. If you ain't one of them niggas, then you're going to be feeling like I said, niggas going to step on you out here. But yeah, other than that though, like I said though, you can choose to mind your business. But as far as niggas want to do the gang shit, niggas want to do the gang shit because you want to be a part, you want to be cool, you know what I mean? So that's yeah, why right? you have niggas that join the gangs that do the gang shit or try to be involved type shit. Look, keep mad, get a low. I don't know your name, nigga. Z block with it, Z dot files, what up? So none of that dude Z dot, you heard talking. Like I was saying though, feel me? As far as this shit, nigga. I mean, us, we ain't really have no choice. Like I said, you feel me? We from the town. Niggas put themselves in certain situations, feel me? Cause you can't mind your business, but as far as from being from Brownsville, now nah, I don't really feel like you can mind your business. Cause it's just like being from over here, nigga, you gotta be a wolf. Or you ain't gonna last, nigga. Like, it's like 18 different projects, nigga. And one ass area, you feel me? So So is all 18 of these projects they like into it or do they fall under the same line? Or I mean, I right, back then, growing up, the older niggas, they didn't fuck with each other. So if you from this project, you from this project. Feel me? It, it wasn't none of that. Now as far as when we came about, we dead it all that. We the niggas that basically locked in with a, like all the other projects that wasn't fucking with each other. As far as when it comes to the woo shit, it's five different projects. So you got Cephalo, his motherlands where we from, feel me? You got LH, that's Langston Hughes, that's the high rise shit. And you got motherfucking Glimmer, that's in back of Cephalo. You got Van Dyke, that's, that's another, that's right, like you can't see it but the school right here. And then you got Brownsville Houses itself. So the whole area is called Brownsville, but we got a project also in Brownsville called Brownsville Houses. 
this shit right here, Cephalo, this the this the um this shit right here is the smallest projects. This shit and fucking Glimmer. As far as when it comes to fucking the uh, Van Dyke and Brownsville shit, them shits is big, so that's why we so deep in numbers, feel me? Mm. Because there's five different projects and them last two I just named them shits is huge. Them shits run a few different blocks on a different block type shit. How did the Wu movement like start? It started back, I would say early 08 but 09 when filming shit really start hitting or whatever and basically that shit was all it was like a bird call it was all from a song feel me from fucking um what's that called 848 by fucking joel santana feel me the homie bleezy or whatever it's the originator he you know let's listen to music let's fuck with the music and the nigga um what's his name joel's his bird call and shit was cool feel me he was screaming out woo in the ad -lib. niggas basically took that shit it don't got nothing to do with joel's but niggas basically took that shit and ran with it feel me and just and made it a thing so when niggas are going to parties now you hear wool from me wool and that's how it start picking up so now when niggas know when brownsville niggas coming these the wolves for me or if, if the niggas from the other side come them niggas the those the chose for me since a nigga could feel me open his eyes and realize what's what because like i said brownsville is just the worst part of new york so you know, your average kid you're gonna see all the shit like you're gonna see all the shit that you probably wouldn't see if you was from somewhere else for me being over here go fuck how old you is you gonna see it because look how closed in this shit is so it's just so much shit happening at once for me like right now we standing here some shit probably happening you get me it's like that i mean you will never know type shit as but a yeah. kid what was the first thing that you had seen yourself you know how did that shit affect you like my family like niggas is family niggas is, niggas is them niggas feel me so growing up i had one of them fake like how could i say it I was always outside as a kid, bro. Like, no cap. From yay high. Even a couple of niggas in the back, niggas been outside since yay high. Because being around the older niggas, that's what it was back then. Niggas had a little niggas outside. Niggas was scrapping with each other, seeing which little niggas, feel me? His, who shits work, who shits don't, feel me? That's how we grew up. As far as this generation, they ain't really, like, now it ain't niggas don't really do it. Like, you don't really see niggas outside with their kids too much because it's nasty. But at the time, it was like that, though. Where the older niggas had a little niggas outside. And feel me, niggas, yo, I bet this little nigga beat this little nigga up. Niggas getting it popping. But it's kind of crazy that you say that kids don't even be outside like that no more because all the bullshit. Yeah, that shit changed. Back then you had niggas <clears> that, the older niggas, if this was this nigga kid, that's similar to his pops too, even though it's not, you feel me? Like it might be his man, some shit like niggas hold it down for, feel me, for their man kid or whatever. Now you don't really like too much, it's like niggas is not really too much in tune with that niggas keep their kids, how they keep them, like everything is more so like in a cut with it now. But back then it was like a community thing, feel me? Now, shit ain't, it ain't really like that. Look, you got the boys sliding through this shit going weird shit now. Nigga, your average nigga, a nigga who might come done you would be some nigga you wouldn't even think of do it to you, feel me? Gangsta, cause it's just different out here. We carry ourselves different, we don't move like the rest, feel me? I always tell niggas what's called, you ain't gotta be too gangster to have fun. Word. shit. Having fun. We fuck a lot of niggas bitches, you heard? Yeah, These like bitches love a roughneck nigga on the tongue. And when you say, like the woo shit, where was Pop Smoke from? Oh, I'm gonna get into that. All right. Pop Smoke, Pop Smoke, them niggas is from fucking Canarsie, feel me? That's, yeah, those are the guys too, some few niggas, but you got a few niggas that be on some weird shit cause it be a debate over who started the woo shit, feel me? And them niggas know we started the woo shit cause at the time fucking Cooter and Pop Smoke was on the same football team and all that, feel me? So, like I said, nigga, I'm 26, nigga, the woo shit been around since uh, middle of 08, 09 type shit, you feel me? That's years back, so you do the math. Nigga, that shit came from over here, and them niggas, they just grasped towards the movement, bro. Understand, too, the woo shit is not a gang. It's not no blood crypt shit. It's not no, yo, you woo, you got a specific code, you got an old for it. It's not none of that shit, feel me? It's a movement. So that's why when niggas did take the woo shit, it wasn't like niggas was tripping about it, because nigga, niggas is jacking the movement. Ain't no fucking gang, ain't no fucking hierarchy, either. you know what I'm saying? So, that's why we wasn't tripping about it, but only reason why niggas trip is because at the end of the day, you still gotta pay that homage, feel me? Cause, feel me? What up, homie? You still, you still yeah, gotta pay like, that homage, feel me? like putting on for the same movement yeah, type nigga, shit. Like, you gotta pay that homage, cause like, we got the side with the whoo shit, like nigga that took the years to get this shit built, nigga. At a point in time, it was niggas that's from over here that wasn't really too fond of the whoo shit. Niggas wasn't really trying to get self involved cause we was them young wild niggas, so feel me? Niggas would stay away. And, even down to all the other niggas in Brooklyn, niggas that stay away. Niggas who know us, feel me? Niggas that was fucking with us. And only reason why we here now is because through time, nigga, we, feel me? We outlasted other groups and shit like that. Because like I said, nigga, the woo shit is not a gang. So you can't dismantle no shit that's, feel me? Not, it don't got no structure as far as a organization and this the big homie for this. None of that, feel me? Niggas just who they are. You your own man, nigga. 
you woo, cause you from over here. Yeah, I got you know, it. I don't know shit though, nigga, I've been doing all that. Get up out of here. I'm chewing niggas up walking through this bitch. New York niggas not that nigga. This shit is the trenches. Nigga, the fuck is y'all talking about? Y'all yeah. niggas ain't never been I just here. Was looking at we this don't shit. care to explain ourselves. I just was looking at this shit. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. What the fuck was that? Instagram? Brownsville number one or number two in the, like, the most dangerous. Yeah, yeah. nigga, this shit is right coming. Here. But and another thing about New York is it's a money city, so a lot of news be... Like they don't, they don't, they be, they don't put a lot of shit hey, up there. Brownsville is on like yeah, more. Yeah, Brownsville they don't report shit out here. See, I, I ain't, I ain't in the streets, but I'm about the streets, bro. I ain't. I like that. Break that. What you mean by that? I ain't. A, I might look like a street nigga, but I ain't a street nigga. You heard? I got the, the attributes of a street nigga, but I ain't got the brains of well. I got the brains of a street nigga too, but I ain't the. For me, I ain't a force in the street. Oh, uh, not like that. What's the coach? So we gonna break down your mindset, too. How did you avoid all the bullshit? And when, when did you realize like that shit that wasn't for you? First of all, I, I let my how, how we say I let my nuts hang. So I'm me. Whether you say I'm not, whether you say I am, I'm always gonna be me. It don't matter who around. I don't change yeah, nobody. Yeah, I don't change around well. female. So with that, with that mindset, I ain't never need no nah, no guidance from no OG, no big homie. All these little niggas. I mean, that's coming up now. Is looking for guidance for this shit. Like we need a, a older niggas to direct us or. Nigga, if somebody hurt you, go hurt them. If you broke, make money. Everything is common sense, but common sense ain't common. Fact. Nah, that's a fact. That's a fact. A lot of motherfuckers, they get drew into the bullshit type shit. Like, that's the type of nigga I am. I don't really get drew into the streets. I kind of avoid it because I've seen it type shit. Yeah, I, I see it every day, but I'm also, if me and my brother's outside and my brother's getting to it, I'm not going to be a nigga stay on the sideline. No, that's, an, that's not me neither. It ain't for you. I know it's like, in, Growing up over here in these type of environments, it's certain turning points and certain shit that'll draw people in. Facts. Like seeing one of your friends dying. That's that's what drew most of my brothers, and I ain't gonna say who no nigga, but most of my brothers watch our friends die. We just gonna sit back and let your friend get killed. So some of my brothers took action. That's how I look at it, but I don't fault them. My friend going, so why would I fault them? What about you? Have you like you seen him? You lost a friend before? Yeah, hell yeah. I lost a lot of my friends. I lost, I lost like probably like Five friends in one year, four friends in one year. Yeah, that, yeah. That, 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 two, two in one month, two right back together, two right back to back, two weeks, act three, three, two weeks, and three like that, back to back, like my little small. His brother, his little brother died, and then the big brother died. That shit was crazy. That shit was like different. I don't see it all, bro. My friend died in front of us on the playground. A lot. A if, lot. You, if you don't mind me asking, you take us back to that day. What was going on? What that was? Was there? You said you lost your friend on your playground in front of you. Oh yeah, we, niggas swing bull and you know, and niggas had beef. Shit happens. Niggas spend whatever, have it happen, happen. Yeah, sorry to hear that. And like, how do you like cope with that shit and try to stay away from it? Shit, smoke weed, <laughs> live your life, bro. And just don't don't let that shit stop you. Slow you down. Keep it pushing. Yo. We got Bolet, Bolet Geek, bro. Show, show the change, show, show your screen, you heard? Yo, Bolet, I need some weeds, you heard? We about to go to the elevator right now. Niggas be ready to crash out every day. <laughs> That's Bolet Geek, look. He trying to make it, look. He trying to make it different. Yeah. He trying to make it different than Brownsville, man. You ready? You heard my bitch. Niggas, I'm my bitch will get me mad. I want to crash out. Hmm. Since I was 13, nigga, my man died when I was 14, you know I me? Mean? We was kids, nigga, so we've been in this shit. I'm talking about nigga coming outside, <laughs> you a fucking sixth grader, though, and you might, feel me, be in the same class as a nigga, but he on time and fucking with the big dogs, and niggas outside shooting every day. This is coming out of elementary school, fifth grade, sixth grade type shit, every day, feel me? Then, then when I we um, took our first loss, that was the bro new, feel me? And that's when the woo shit, that's what made all of us as young niggas, from all the five projects that I named, really lock in, feel me? Cause the nuke shit, that was our first loss. We was kids, feel me? I was 13 personally, nigga. That's, feel me, that's kid, I'm a kid. So when that shit happened, that shit brought us together and that shit, that shit had an uproar in the city, nigga. Like, 